This how-to is aimed at people who have been working with their files and folders on file shares and on their local computer and are now moving to SharePoint Online. There may be numerous reasons why your organisation, like many others, is moving to SharePoint Online, but one of the most common is the benefit of being able to access information from anywhere. This supports changes in working practices and working styles, giving a lot more flexibility to the modern workplace. So let's get on with the how-to. I'm going to work with a number of files and folders. First I'm going to do that using Windows Explorer as if I'm on a file share. And then I'm going to do the same activities in SharePoint Online. Here's a folder on my local PC. This of course could be on a file share, the S drive, the corporate share, wherever it is that your organisation keeps all its documents. Inside this folder, we can see three folders, each with a number of documents. The first thing I'm going to do is take a copy of Tips and Tricks 01 document. I'm then going to rename the file, and I now have a new document. The next thing I've decided to do is to move that document into one of the other folders. To perform that action, I'm going to right click and cut. I'm going to navigate back to the folder that I want to put it in. And I'm going to right click and paste. Now I've decided I want to put it into a new folder. And then I can simply drag and drop the file directly into that folder. And there we have it. So let's move over to SharePoint and perform these same activities. Here I am on the board site. This is the equivalent of the board folder. And we can see the three folders with the same names as before. I'll start by going into the Yellow Papers folder and taking a copy of Tips and Tricks 05. I do this by using the Copy To button. At this stage I'm going to select the current library and it creates me a copy in the same location. There are a number of ways to rename the file. I've just clicked F2, the shortcut key, but I can also select Rename from this menu or from the menu in the toolbar. The next step is to move this file into one of the other folders. I select the file, I click the Move To button, I know I'm looking for the Blue Papers folder which is in my board site. I could at this point create a new subfolder but I'm just going to put it directly into the Blue Papers folder for now. SharePoint lets us know that it's moving the file. And when it's complete, it'll update to say it's moved the file. And we can see that it no longer appears in the list. And we can navigate to Blue Papers and see that the file was moved as expected. Now I need to create a new folder. I do this from the new menu. Give my folder a name. And my folder is created. Just like in Windows Explorer. I can drag and drop my new file directly into this folder. If I wanted to drag multiple items, I can select the ones that I want to move and then drag and drop them all into the folder. Going into the folder, if I wanted to move all of these items back out, I can click at the top of the first column to select all and then drag and drop them onto the blue papers 
in the breadcrumb at the top. Just as I've copied, renamed, and moved a file around, I can perform those same actions on a folder. And if I copy or move a folder, all of its contents go with it. The file share has been around for a long time, and moving away from it can be a real challenge. We hope this how-to helps make that transition just that little bit easier.